We're starting our Saturday out right. <laughs> Sorry, Jules. And Ashley, oh, where'd you go? Did you disappear? Oh, she's hiding. Boo! <laughs> okay, let's go do this. I'm on a clutter streak. If I'm all sweaty and gross from cleaning, I might as well like declutter. And today, shoes. <laughs> She doesn't want to do this. This is her area to clean. She has to put shoes away and sweep and mop it. We're not getting laid up though. Nope. So we're going to declutter, organize. I wish I didn't have this storage unit as my only option for shoes, but it's what we got. This is the chaos. It is actually very organized chaos. Let me take you through what we've gotten here so far. Power cords and ropes in the shoe container. No idea. It's been six years. Finally taking them out. This is our donate pile. That coat, I mean seriously you guys, I bought that coat for $4 at Gymboree when I first worked there and not a single girl has been willing to wear it. It's a size 10, 12 and Ashley just cannot wait. I can't hang on to it for another four years for her to fit into it. So sadly I'm going to see if any of my friends, I mean seriously, look at the ruffles and the jewel buttons. I just can't hang on to it for another four years. It's just ridiculous. I've literally had this for probably six years. No one's ever worn it. So that one's gone. These are these are all shoes I'm going to donate. Some of them are my, most of them are mine. Um, Chelsea and guy has got a few pair in there. We had these high tops. I don't remember where we got them from. Whether it was from someone, they were brand new, never worn. But Chelsea just doesn't want high tops. So and rain boots that have gone through two kids, I think, and they're just kind of done. And perfectly new shoes from our store that never got worn. This is our pile of shoes that will fit later and are still in really good shape. So I'm actually going to take these shoes and put them in a bucket and put them in the closet so that they're out of the way. This is a pile. Oh, these ones are in the wrong one. This is Chelsea and Ashley's bucket right there. And this is Kaylee and Abby's. These sandals actually almost fit Abby. So I'm going to put those ones over here. So then this is their regular bucket. Oh, why are all these sandals in here? So that is my bucket right there. I've just got tennis shoes and my Chacos in there because I put my other shoes in the closet. And then I've got sandals left over right there. So for the first time ever, this whole area is completely cleaned out. Ashley is wiping it all down. You're doing a really good job. Gross. I it is gross. Yeah, it's really gross. So why do I have you doing? <laughs> because it's your job. And it's a bigger job today, but now I'm thinking about it next week, it's going to be easy peasy. Right? And whose shoes are not on the floor right there? Dad's. Dad's. Where are they? In the closet. Yeah. All right, so this pile right here, actually these ones are daddies. We need to put those ones away. These ones are all garbage. This is your... Your funny boots. My No, those ones are going in the closet. This pile right here is all garbage. That's what I currently wear. And a slipper I can't find the other one for. And I finally have an easy spot for Jason's shoes. He gets annoyed when he can't have easy access to his shoes. So blah, 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 blah. He's got all of these little slots down here for One, shoes. One, two, three, four. And then he has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, wow. He has twelve pairs there. And I don't I think will. he has any of them right here. So that's pretty good for his shoes. And then Kaylee and I both have a pair of these that are gonna be in here. I've got my new black ones from Clark. I feel like, kind of feel like I've cheated on our shoe store <laughs> by getting those ones at Clark. And then Abby has her Sunday shoes right here. I tend to put like the nicer shoes in the closet here, kind of keep them up nice. And then I have my sandals in here. See, I don't want her shoes right here. They get bent. I want her shoes to be here in the closet right there instead of in the shoe rack. So I gotta find room for her other one. All right, so I moved um, Jason's top shoe down a row so that we could put both of those boots right there and then his shoes start and go down. And I kinda wanna get rid of these ones. I don't know, I still really like them, but the Velcro is starting to wear off. I should actually just get rid of them. Jason keeps trying to remember to take them to the cobbler, but doesn't. Um, actually, Chelsea's shoes. Oh, see, these ones are her nice boots, too. I should put these ones in the 
there's not any more room on this anymore and I'm gonna leave that open for Jason. And instead of squishing hats into these little containers, I'm gonna hook them on the little hook up there so that they can like not be so wrinkly when he goes to wear those. All right, so Ashley's gonna finish wiping that one out and I'm gonna help her sweep really, really good. Oh my gosh, show the camera. It's black, you guys. That just chokes in mine. It's not because of you guys being dirty. It's just because it is dirty itself. Okay, you guys. That's literally just the pile from this one little teeny tiny area. And there's gloves behind it. There's oh, and found gloves behind the bench. We, we pulled it out and, and we swept behind it. It's pretty gross, huh? It was gross. Alright, yes, I'm mildly hiding behind the camera because I'm a hot mess. But this room is completely clean. I just vacuumed the whole main floor. And Ashley did a really good job at cleaning this main area right here. I have a friend coming to get these shoes right here. Her and her daughter are that size, so I've offered it up to her. And then those are just my shoes. They just need to go down on the floor. But I like how clean. Let's see if Jason can stop putting his shoes right there and put them in the closet. And then that room is clean. Chelsea and Ashley have had my other table upstairs. I'm going to get Chelsea to bring that down right now. And then it's kind of dark in here, but this room is all vacuumed and cleaned up. And now I'm doing laundry. I'm in here and I've got one load hung and done. I've got one load down here to do. All Kaylee's sweatpants, sweatshirts, and towels. I've got some more done down there. And then I've got two loads, one washing and one drying. And then I can move those. And just for, for proof that I'm the one doing <laughs> this work down here. Hot mess. All right, Abby, your upstairs is clean? Yeah. And are you on your ninth or 10th cutie know. this morning? I don't know. Anyway, she's all dressed and cute and ready for the day. She is gonna go babysit tonight. And I'm gonna go take a shower. Um, I'm kind of hot and tired and sick of cleaning. I cleaned my room before, I'll show you my room. I cleaned my room before I came downstairs this morning. And so it's all done. And I'm gonna go shower. Also, I hid the cookies from the younger two kids. So, Abby, put them back up in that. What? We'll show everyone where we're hiding the cookies in the oatmeal bucket. <laughs> no one's gonna look in there, right? I look. Well, you'll look in there, but. Well, I look for the You're gonna save me a bite or a piece. Well, there's a bunch more in there. Okay, don't eat any more or I'm not going to end up getting one, okay? And this is stuff for Jason. His dad brought more product over for Jason to work on tonight. They're just, his brother is like, business is doing really, really well. So it's going to do really well for us because we get a little bit of money for packaging all these like, guys. There's, these are saxophone parts. We've talked about them before, but it's called key leaves. So, And the girls are working on their room. Sometimes the before is a little bit more messy than we think. Yes. I put all of my things from here into here. Okay. Maybe I'll find you a bucket because you know I have things with boxes. I don't like boxes. Bye. I'll find you a bucket. Deal? Deal. So the bucket that those toys were in is right on your bed. So can we switch that because the books don't go in a bucket. Some of these things drive me nuts. Yeah. Finish that. Switch the toys back to the bucket. No. And then all your blankets no. go back on your bed. Nope, it's not. I don't do boxes. Not when we have buckets to store things in. I'll be back and I'm going to see a cute, pretty, clean room, right? It's not going to be pretty. Oh. And then our room is all cleaned up. Like I said, we got a new duvet cover and it came with new pillow shams for Christmas. Jason said I couldn't get things for him for Christmas, but he didn't say I couldn't get things for myself. <laughs> so, and this is really for our bed. So, I got a new cover and then he got this blanket. This was so nice last night. We kind of wrapped it around our shoulders and, and kind of snuggled into it because it was like below 30 last night and it's supposed to be getting really cold this next week. So it was really nice to kind of have that laying over the top of us and still matches my cute little decorations up there. And in case you miss it, I do have a video on this little table. You'll have to go back and check it out if you missed it because I got that case for Christmas as well, and I love it. That's much better. I didn't do my hair. Just put it back into my little twisties. But now I'm in a little bit of a conundrum 
because I need to go once we sorted through those shoes. I knew Chelsea was, her shoes are kind of on their last legs, no pun intended. <laughs> and so I wanted to kind of go through all, all our old ones and make sure that there wasn't an old pair of tennis shoes that just didn't get worn out before I went and got her new pair. And there's like some little Ked styles. Oh, the battery's going. There's some Ked style shoes that she could wear um, and they'll do for a little bit, but they're not going to last long because they've already been worn by another person before. I think Abby had them before. So I need to go to the shoe store, but Kaylee just asked for a ride home from the mall. She got a ride to the mall, but she's got six kids with her. Well, six total. But I've got four with us, and my I only have eight seat belts. So I'm kind of hanging out here waiting for her to respond back if another parent can go and pick up these other kids because it's like, my kids have to go with me. They have to try on shoes. Abby, sorry about that. Battery died. I think I just switched batteries. Sometimes it'll work for a second. So I'm going to wait here for a second before I leave. Kaylee's struggling because apparently no other parent exists. Oh, see, I didn't actually put that <laughs> new battery in. Oh, I was distracted with her. Okay, I got to put the new battery in. I wasn't sure if I actually did it. I popped it out, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> now we're good. I'm going to plug this in. Kaylee's, I don't know, she just doesn't get it. She's like, oh, we can all squish in the car. It's okay. I don't need to worry about asking anyone else for a ride home. And I'm like, it's not legal. I don't know. This is why I think I'm nervous to like teach her how to drive because some of this kind of stuff, I don't know. I, she's going to need a year. Every teenager needs a year to like learn how to drive. So I think this is good, um, a good test of whether or not we should actually start doing this in the next couple months. So let me figure this ride out. Then we need to go find Chelsea some shoes and then go get them from the mall. So. Two and a half. Okay, we're trying to decide. Half. Chelsea's trying on shoes. This is three and a half. No, that one's a two and that one's a two and a half. And then she also has oh. these ones right here. Oh, you can't see what color they are. They're like They're coral. coral colored. They're cute. And now Abby's going at it. I didn't a little too big, them, right? Yeah, it's slightly too big because... They're uh, cute though, yeah. for church. Okay, Chelsea, tell us what one you picked. Okay. You might recognize the box. Yeah? The box? I mean, it is just a box, but... I got the... The pink Nikes. Yay. You know, we're not really Nike fans of uh, quality for Nike, but at the same time, I need she doesn't shoes. last long enough in the shoes to worry about the quality of the shoe lasting long, like the strength of the, like the arch and you know what I mean? She doesn't last long enough in the shoes <laughs> to worry about that. Normally that's what I worry about is, Lasting. you know, it being comfortable enough for long enough and being, you know, but she just shreds her shoes. I don't <laughs> like even... Like the first day she got her new shoes, her other new shoes, she got them completely muddy. Yeah. Like it's they just... They were covered in mud and... Yeah. We're going around the corner to a different parking lot to Old Navy really quick just to look at their clearance. And then I guess Kaylee just arranged a ride home from someone else because I can't take six people home. It's ridiculous. It's a lot ridiculous. So she initially told me that there was four people needing a ride home. And so that's what I planned. And I plan to do this with the kids and make myself useful coming this direction. It's like 20 minutes out of my way. And so I need to put my seatbelt on, but I'm literally going from one parking lot to another. But she, anyway, there was a miscommunication and she has now found her own ride home. So I think what we're gonna do is go to Wendy's. Yay! You guys are, they're happy about the situation because I wasn't gonna go to Wendy's if I had to pick them all up. Because then, then I'd have, have to, to pay, pay for, for all of them. You, have to, you would have to pay for eight, no. Six yeah. hungry teenagers. Mm -mm. And nope. well, technically it would be four since we can't actually fit that many. Right, technically I would have only had four in the car, but. But we're playing. All right, Unless so, me and Ashley sat in someone's lap. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's run over to Old Navy really quick. All right, so we're Old Navy, and we found a solution to one of our problems. These jeans are on sale for $10 and $5. And Abby is a size zero in these adult sizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some of these jeans. This is only $1.97, but she doesn't like that color. 
and we're gonna cut them off into shorts. Super cheap. Okay, so Abby is like scoring big time. So you like these ones as shorts? No, those ones are shorts. Those ones as shorts and just keep these ones as pants? Stop. I mean, for $6, you just got yourself some pants. Keep the camera on you too and keep you quiet. <laughs> yes, this is my monitor. Do we still are going get one of these? I don't know. Yay! Your, beha yes. your behavior no. depends on your ability to get it. This is the kind of stuff I can't handle in stores. This right here. I can't. All right, so we just got home. I wanted to show you these cute jeans that we got for Abby. I don't know if I explained it very well. Hang on. They're on my last nerve. <laughs> they earned their Wendy's. We ate that on our way home. But, so anyway, I got these Abby Needs shorts in general. And I just told her, look for cute ones on Amazon. And we do need them for our vacation. We need them for our vacation. We'll tell you at the end of this video what to do. Yeah, that's what I need to tell you. At the end of this video with Jason, we will, we will tell you how to find the clues to tell you where we're going. So, we are going somewhere warm. There's the first hint. So she does need shorts to go where we're going and she gave all of her shorts to Chelsea and so she has absolutely nothing left. I think she maybe has some like pajama shorts. <laughs> I don't think she has anything that fits her anymore. So, Old Navy jeans were, I mean everything in the store was like up to 75% off. And it's a good time to stock up, but I didn't find anything and the kids weren't really like in the mood to like let me really like deep look, you know? And so I just kind of was not really finding anything and then we found this clearance rack of jeans. Let me show you what we got here. I was sad because one of the white pairs that she picked out would have been really cute in shorts. It wasn't on sale. It shouldn't have been in the clearance rack when we found it. So we are going to take, here I'll just show you what we're going to do. All right, so she got these ones right here. These ones were only $5.97. She actually likes this one and another pair as jeans, but I'm gonna have her cut off one of the one of the these ones. And then this one here, she really likes this one as jeans as well. Because they have like all the, you know, cut out, roughed up look or whatever. But they were ten dollars. They were the most expensive ones that we got, which is still not a big deal. So she's gonna keep these ones as jeans and so I made her pay for these ones because I don't need to buy jeans for her right now. So she paid for that one. And then these guys were $10 as well and they will look super cute as shorts. They all fit her really well just as jeans but for $10 I got her a pair of um, shorts for later. Then these guys right here were only $5.97 as well and so she's going to decide she's going to cut one of these dark ones and leave the other one as shorts but for right now the smart thing is is that she can wear all of these right now as as jeans she can just wear them to school on weekends or whatnot and then when it comes time to go on our vacation she will cut two of them so she'll have two pairs of shorts and then she'll decide whether she's going to cut this third one or not or just leave them both as pants and I earned super cash. So on the super cash, I get $10 off a $25 purchase. I'm hoping that they have, um, I mean, February here is kind of resort wear time in stores. It's when you start seeing swimsuits and sunscreen and whatnot, because we all go on vacation during midwinter break. Everyone gets out of Seattle during midwinter. <laughs> At least you try to. We won't be able to go out anywhere for February, but I'm hoping that by February there's flip flops and some more summer, sh at least short sleeve shirts that will show up because I need some more short sleeve t-shirt for the trip. So I'll be able to like take advantage of that discount later. That was a really good find. I got all four of these pants for $35 and Abby paid for $10 of that. So pretty good deal, I think. And she gets multiple use out of them. We just won't cut them off right now. She'll get three and a half months out of these jeans before we have to cut some of them. So it is almost five o'clock already. Kaylee's at her friend's house now. It's my time to sit down at my office desk and work here. I've got two videos to work on and 
I look at mail. I just got mail and um, just a few other things. And then Chelsea and Ashley, or Chelsea and Abby are gonna go babysit tonight. It's a new family that just moved into our neighborhood and their cousin is one of our friends. And so she's like, I need a babysitter. And so we offered up Abby as their babysitter and Chelsea already knows the little girl in this family. Yeah, she's her bus buddy at, at school. The fourth graders are bus buddies and reading buddies for the kindergarten classes. It's so cute. And so Chelsea already knows the little girl just from school. And so it's kind of perfect. And so the mom had said, yes, like I, she said, I, I mentioned that, that Chelsea's sister is gonna come and babysit tonight. And she went nuts, the little girl went nuts. She says, I wanna play with Chelsea. Let Chelsea come over. <laughs> so it actually works well. I've said this before. I babysit other kids and, and my kids have gone to babysit other kids and the parents have all said, can Chelsea and Ashley come play while your daughter is babysitting our kids because they all get along so much better. They play, they order pizza, and then as soon as dinner is ready to be done with and bedtime, then they send Chelsea home and Abby will put the kids to bed and it works out for everyone. So here in the next hour or so, Chelsea will be gone with Abby. It'll be just Ashley and I until Jason gets home and she'll go to bed and Kaylee's off at her friend's house. So I'm gonna get some work done here and that's my Friday night. No, it's not even Friday night. That's sad, it's Saturday night. Kind of boring. All right, so I was editing and working on the computer so I didn't have my disc to be able to like film any longer, anymore. And so this little girl is the only one left at home. She's been getting a little, about an hour extra screen time here at bedtime. She's up about an hour late, but it's Saturday night. And she gets to sleep in tomorrow because we have later church now. We switch church times at the new year. So they get to sleep in, but Abby has a, a morning meeting at 8 a.m. And she'll have that meeting like once a month going forward because she kind of has a, a new presidency kind of calling and like a leadership calling kind of a thing. So Jason and I are gonna like rock, paper, scissors on who has to get up to take her. <laughs> I don't want to wake up, but I don't have to get ready. I just have to drop her off, but I still have to wake up and get in the car. It's going to be cold outside. And anyway, I'm going to rock, rock, paper, scissors to take her because then she has to go back for another meeting at like mid-afternoon. So it's like what one, you know, we'll share the duties. Sorry, I had a glass underneath my arm. <laughs> this is what I do. I just walk around the house and I pick up after everyone. It's like second nature. I just kind of do it. Uh, ugh. Jason is home from work. It is eight o'clock at night. Kind of fast forward a, a whole bunch. But he got home from work and we had found out that his brother's business, he got a business deal in Chicago this weekend. Or yeah, this weekend he got back from Chicago and the business deal that he got with the company, he sells sax, saxophone parts, if you're wondering. I mentioned it before. But this company that he sold to is literally going to double his business. Like, double it with the orders that they want. And so, Jason is just having to crank out product like tenfold. He's just gonna have to start working a lot more to help his brother out. We are a garage business at this point. <laughs> Everyone's kind of working on it from their own standpoint and getting it done and helping him get up on the, you know, the first stages of owning your own business. Cause we've been there, done that, and people supported us in their own ways when we started out. So that's what you just do. So he's upstairs enjoying some movie time and I've got to convince this little one to skirt off to bed. Oh, someone's calling me. I've got to convince this little girl to go to bed. Come on. Do you want to lay in my bed tonight? No? Do you want to lay in your bed? You're tired. You're trying to pretend like you're not tired, but you're very tired. Okay. Ashley and I just remembered, I was just gonna have her wear her little, she's got a dress on and some leggings. And sometimes when she's kind of tired and mopey like this, no, no, it's not under there. I just let her wear whatever she's wearing because she hasn't gotten dirty today to bed. But then we remembered that she has chocolate on her neck and in her hair. I don't even know how you got it there. I never ate chocolate in like a long time. I don't even know when you ate chocolate. So she's gotta go take a shower because it's all up in her hair. She's so tired. So I'm gonna go get your water nice and hot, okay? You go get your jammies. Okay, so go get your jammies and I'll meet you in my room, okay? Yeah, she's got hot cheeks. Hot cheeks. And daddy's upstairs. 
<laughs> it's quite quite the setup in here. Are you enjoying your time? Yeah, I think Kaylee, Do you... Kaylee they're walking 22 minutes ago. They said they're on the way here. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah. All I got was uh, two of us are walking up. Aren't they coming down? Yes. This is my sweet spread. Yeah. It's quite the spread. I'm going to tuck Ashley into bed, but I was just going to end with you here. Um, Oh, come here, pumpkin. Daddy can't get up to help you get to bed. He's yeah. got to work on these. He wants a hug. I'm not taking this. This is mine. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> can't take that. Whoa, 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 oh, careful. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. Don't knock it all over. What are you doing? Anyway, so I'm just going to tell um, end the video in a different spot, but Jason's right here and we'll just do it this way. So we are leaving a playlist down below in the description, and I'll try and add one up here as well with five videos. Not including this one. Five videos that we literally left direct clue. clue to where we're going on our vacation in a couple months. So you're gonna go and click on that playlist, either up in the i card that's above here or down below, and you're gonna watch all five videos and you're gonna see the clue somewhere. See it, hear it. You can't touch it, obviously. You're just watching it, <laughs> right? Ashley knows what the clue is, don't you? Yeah, it's a good clue, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So if you watch those videos, you will find that clue. It's in every single video. Does that mean, does that mean on Monday we're going to tell them? Well, I want to see if someone can guess. If I see someone guess the answer, then we'll announce it in the next video that we do. What if they tell them? We can't keep stringing them around. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'll, because we'll have time, because they're yeah. behind us. So, so we'll, I say we, we announce it in the next video. Yeah. If, we somebody, should. if somebody got it, or the closest person geographically or something will, you know, yeah. win. But otherwise, watch the videos and uh, look for the... Dana, cut that out. Stop doing that, Jason. I'm trying to give him clues. I, he's giving you clues. I have to cut it's all that all out. You know. No, I just gave, no, he just gave you a clue. And I'm not gonna, you don't get that many clues. I hope you enjoy our little game that we have been playing with that. It's been kind of fun and you will find out probably in the next video. Okay, we're gonna let him be. And we're gonna go to bed, right, Ashley? No, yes. yes, you are. Shut your door, Dad, to Dad. I need to get a space heater that works for that room for him. It's really, really cold in here. Come on, Ashley. Our bathroom is actually warmer. If I keep the bathroom warmer, or door shut, then it's actually warmer in here. I it's actually a lot warmer warm. in here, because this is insulated quite well. So our room is just quite crazy. All right, so I'm gonna get her into the shower and say goodnight to you guys. And come back and you'll find out where we're going. It's kind of fun. I like stringing you guys along. It's kind of fun.